Hey guys, welcome back. On a previous video, we got one of these backplates from JSOX. This backplate alone cooled down our Steam Deck, and we lowered it even further by adding a passive heatsink. In today's video, we're going to check out JSOX's new product, the Magnetic Cooler. And yes, it looks like something from Iron Man. Everyone, welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribble, it's me Batman. So this arrived from JSOX. If you don't know who they are, well, they make everything you'd ever need for the Steam Deck. And this accessory here looks a bit like the thing from Iron Man. No, it does not. It's got RGB, smart, quick freeze, and ultra quiet. Outside that, the box is pretty bland. Except for the back. According to this, it needs input power 20 watts max, rated power 18 watt max, charging port type C, compatible with a cell phone, tablet, and Steam Deck. Open Sesame Street. When we have the box open, the first thing we see is the fan. And under this card, we have more stuff. There's a cable in here. This blue sheet. And two instruction booklets. Here's the first. And here's the second. Do you need to borrow my spot the dog books? So this here is a thin sheet of metal. It sticks to your device so that the fan can magnetically attach to it. The main attraction. This side's magnetic, and it looks a lot like one of those air fresheners from a car. Without the sheet on, it won't attach, so let's stick it on. We need to push it on firmly, then leave it for 5 to 10 minutes to set. While waiting, let's have a look at this thing. So the outer chrome casing is made of an ABS plastic, and inside, a small aluminium heatsink that doesn't seem to have much surface area. If we look around the outside, there is one small button, which can turn the fan off, normal, and to high speed mode. Then on the opposite side, a USB-C connector. And this is where things get a bit messy. To power this fan, we need a cable. But the thing is, this is really long. Completely overkill. So the fan goes on here. That's quite tight and snug. Now for the USB-C cable. And now what? The Steam Deck does not have a USB-A port. So to get power, we need something like a dock. So either official or third party one should do fine. Both of these here are from JSOX. Can work as a stand. Has two USB-3 ports, HDMI, power, and a LAN port at the end. The pricier model has a similar layout, but with USB 3.2, a 65 watt power adapter for fast charging, and inside the dock, we have an M2 card slot. Good for those larger games that you only want to play on the big screen. And once we have power, the fan can spin. Let's have a listen. Not exactly silent, but the bottom here is really cold. It's a bit like a refrigerator. But with this and the Steam Deck fan running, it's not quiet at all. Let's see how it performs in game. There are certainly better temperatures when using this fan, but as is, it's really only useful for those with a docked steam deck who care about pushing clock speeds rather than having a nice, quiet deck. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like and subscribe, much like I smash Beverly on the living room rock.
if you don't have a special place try one of these.